Hey everybody, in my last video, I covered Barry Harris's amazing concept in order to simplify and expand lines in order to create some language like this. If you haven't watched that video, I highly suggest that you do before watching this one. And because everyone seemed to like that video and that topic so much, I'm gonna cover it in a part two today and focus more on the expanding of a particular sound. All right, let's jump right into it. Okay, so first, just a real quick review for those that need it. So Barry Harris created a scale called the major or minor six diminished scale, and this scale can be used to do a lot of things. In the last lesson, I did a broad overview about how this scale can simplify or expand a sound. The main idea being that when we create a line from this scale, we can use it to play over any chord from that scale, or simply put pretty much any chord over the major scale. Barry's scale is pretty much the major scale with the added sharp five or flat six scale degree and the melodic minor scale again with the added sharp five or flat six scale degree. So now let's create some lines with this scale. So first we're gonna need to expand a chord using Barry scale. So to do this, let's take a basic C major seven voicing and move every note of this voicing up to the next note in Barry's scale. Now you continue this pattern until you reach the chord that you started with again. So you're gonna have seven different chords out of this one chord. So this is where things get fun. So we're gonna create lines by either linking arpeggios of these chords together or linking Barry's scale mixed with the arpeggios. Here's an example. Let's take these three chords and link them together. So we have D half diminished, E minor 11, and F major diminished. So all I did was play one arpeggio going up, one arpeggio going down, and then I played the last one going up and resolved it to a tone of C major. Notice how all these arpeggios are right next to each other in the scale. It doesn't have to be like that. You can jump around. Here's an example. So in this line, we linked A minor major with B half diminished, and then we linked it to D half diminished. So the other way that we can create lines is by playing Barry's scale mixed with the arpeggios instead of just playing the arpeggios. So keep in mind that when we play the major six diminished scale, Barry's scale, we need to start on chord tones of C major six and not C major seven because of how this scale is structured. that starts with Barry scale and then moves into an A minor major seven arpeggio. Here's another example that mixes arpeggios with Barry scale. So now we know how to create lines with this scale. So how do we use them? First off, uh, as you've been hearing throughout this lesson, we can use any line that we create with Barry scale over just a C major chord or whatever major chord that uh, we expanded. We can also use these lines over any chord in a two, five, one progression in the key of C. So this means very broadly speaking that if we create a line using Barry's scale, we can pretty much play it over any sound in a major key. So check this out. I'm gonna play a little bit over Take the A Train and I'm gonna use just the lines that we created and you'll see it works even though we're not playing uh, traditional jazz bebop language. So 
So you can also do the same thing that we've been doing, but with the minor six diminished scale instead. So here are all the chords that you get when you expand our basic C minor major seven chord. Here are some examples of lines using the same process as before. that all these lines will work over a minor 251 just like it did with our major 251 okay so as you can see there are uh, an infinite amount of lines that we can create using very scale what i would suggest is that you only create a couple lines using the process that we covered in our lesson and try to mix it with jazz language that you already have under your belt. So for example, if we're playing over Take the A Train, uh, you need to figure out where the basic key centers are and what chords come from those key centers. In this song, it's pretty much C major and F major. Then you expand those two key centers using our process and find lines uh, out of those major six diminished scales. To demonstrate, I'm going to play one chorus over this tune and apply everything that we talked about and mix it with jazz language and also create some interesting and unique lines using Barry's major six diminished scale. <laughs> I encourage you to make your own etudes uh, over whatever tune you're working on. Thank you guys so much for watching this video about Barry Harris's major six diminished scale. If you would like to see the opposite side of this where I talk about uh, simplifying a sound, there's a video in the corner of the screen where I talk about just that. Or if you want me to make a completely new video covering that topic, let me know in the comment section below. Also, I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers to this channel. Uh, my last video I did. Uh, we gained about 400, 500 subscribers, and that's pretty great. So welcome, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoy the content, and I hope it helps you. Also, uh, since there are so many new people here, I just want to say that I released a record last year, and I would love for you to listen to it. It's called Each Step. Uh, it's on O2A or Origin Records, and you can check it out in the link in the description below. All right, enough self-plugging. Thank you guys so much for watching, and remember to always keep swinging.